Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. So the card for today, starting for November 6th, is King of Cups. Now, we know the King of Cups is definitely a mature man, uh, or this is a mature person, okay? It could be male or female, but this person is very, um, very comfortable, very established. This is a person who... Um, enjoys the finer things of life or in life. This is also a person who uh, is very big-hearted, kind-hearted. This is somebody who's very compassionate. This is somebody who's always going out of their way for someone else. So again, this could be male or female. As you notice in the card, there is water behind it. So this card can also represent four the water signs, okay, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, you may be jumping from one thing to another today. You may not be able to stay in one place. You may have a hard time being still or resting. You may have had a very rough night sleeping, uh, tossing and turning, so to speak. For some of you, you are trying to um, reach for something that may not be quite in your reach, so to speak. However, uh, you also may be today feeling like somebody's, um, you know, like kind of casting that fishing hook with the bait on it. So somebody may be baiting you, trying to pull you in, trying to get your attention, trying to come spend time with you. Somebody's trying to get you to talk to them. Somebody wants to get you to listen to what they have to say, their opinion. But at the same time, this person today may try to blame you for something. In, a, in and about a, a kind of way, um, not directly, but they are going to try to hold you responsible for the reason you're not together or the reason that there's an argument or the reason that something didn't work out or things didn't go your way or their way. So be really careful with that. Some of you may be almost in over your head with a certain situation today. It could be in over your head with finances. It could be in over your head with lies. It could be in over your head um, you're biting off more than you can chew, maybe even at work. Maybe you're overwhelmed with something today, <clears throat> wondering how you're going to get through it <clears throat> or get something done or taken care of. The next card that comes up for today's energy is, in fact, the sun card, which is a great card to have for today, right? So we have the sun card here. Now, we all know that the sun card talks about, um, well, the sun card is a major arcana card, right? We know that. It's good fortune. Okay, it's talking about good things coming your way. It's talking about um, something greater or better is coming towards you. Some of you may have left the relationship, walked away from it. Somebody else may have walked away from you. And you're thinking, God, is this all there is? Is anything else good going to happen? I've been waiting and waiting. Well, the sun card indicates that now and pretty much throughout the weekend, something better is coming. There is an offer, an opportunity, or there is a light coming through that's going to awaken you. Something is going to give you an aha kind of moment where you're like, wow, I never thought about that, or I never considered them to be more than a friend. You'll see something's coming. Um, but it is definitely a card to predict things being more pleasant, okay? Not to worry so much. Now, some of you may be dealing with somebody that is a little bit hard to handle or somebody whose moods go up and down. It's like one minute they're okay and the next minute they're, they're going off. They're nuts. So I, they go from zero to a hundred. I don't know what's happening. So I get it. I get it. Okay. Your next card that comes up is in fact the two of cups. So I'll take it. The two of cups is a fantastic card. Uh, the two of cups can definitely talk about... Um, uh, well, when two or more come together, you become more powerful. It's also talking about a bonding. So you and somebody else may bond together coming up over the next couple of days. It also is a minor arcana kind of thing, but it is equal to, as in the minor arcana, it's equal to the lover's card. So this is kind of a good thing because this is talking about a match. Somebody finally balancing something, being able to communicate, being able to get together and converse over some things. Um, you may want to talk something out today, but be careful to make sure you listen more than you talk. Okay. Listen more than you talk. However, do not hold back on your feelings or emotions. If you're feeling them very strongly, then express how you're feeling. It is important for your partner to know and understand the effects that their decisions or choices have made on you. 
for some of you. Again, there is a bonding of two people coming together with this. There is going to be justice in a matter as well. For some of you, there are going to be more than one way to skin a cat. What do I mean by that? Not literally skinning a cat. Don't you dare do that. I'm talking about more than one way to deal with something. More than one way to handle a situation. So just be prepared. But something definitely is coming. Your next card comes up for the day. It's going to talk about the five, I'm sorry, the uh, four of pentacles. So somebody's sitting very comfortably with their money. Somebody is maybe not hurting for financial reasons. Um, somebody is definitely wanting to try something new, wanting to, to invest in something important. Or somebody is maybe wanting to hold on to their money and put it away for something that's coming up later. Maybe there is something of a larger purchase that you're wanting to make. For some of you, though, for today, this four of coins talks about holding on to deep issues from the past. Okay? Some of you are holding on to things whether it's pain, whether it's issues, whether it's disappointment, whether it's um, hurtful words, whether it's betrayal, whether it's the cheating someone did, um, but it's pretty much an act of something that hurt you, harmed you, upset you, made you feel bad, took you back, put you in a different place. So it's kind of like also holding on to bad habits, okay? Holding on to bad choices and decisions. Some of you are quite stuck in a matter where you're thinking, you're, you're, you're telling yourself that it's okay to feel this way. You're telling yourself, I'm, I'm just going to wait for them. You're telling them yourself that I'm going to try again over and over, or I still want this person from my past back because I'm, refu I'm refusing to move forward. I'm refusing to try something new. I'm refusing to get out of my comfort zone. Even though this person hurt me, lied to me, cheated on me, whatever, at least I know them. I know what's to come. I know... <clears throat> the signs, I know when they're going to do something, but, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, my allergies are so bad. But for some of you, you got to understand that it is not okay to keep trying to make something work that doesn't work. Stop trying to put a round peg in a square hole. It doesn't fit, but you'll hammer that bastard in until you get it in that hole. It's not going to work that way. And when you have to force somebody to be with you, to respond to you, to text you, um, and you get yourself all frustrated. Some of you, I don't know who it is, arguing back and forth with somebody and they hang up and you call them back and they're not answering. And you're calling a million times. You're leaving a million voicemails. You're sending a hundred text messages. I mean, like you literally go off the chain. Like really, get a hold of yourself. Cut that baby shit out. Somebody's doing that. Listen, if somebody walks away, let them walk. Why would you lower yourself to beg somebody to be with you? Don't do that. You are worth so much more. And the right person, you wouldn't have to beg to be with you. They would voluntarily stay. Okay? I promise you, they will voluntarily stay. Now, for some of you this weekend, the Ace of Wands comes up. <clears throat> so with the Ace of Wands, it comes up saying that even now, it could be work, it could be home, it could be relationships, it could be family, it could be a lot of things. It could be your finances, it could be your stock investments. <clears throat> but it's like, I knew, <clears throat> gosh, excuse me, I knew I had things all organized to go this way, but something threw a, a wrench in my plans and now everything's going the other way. So instead of going clockwise, now I'm going counterclockwise. So I don't know what to do because it seems like right now everything is out of control. I thought I had everything under control. I thought I could handle everything. I thought things were going to go in this orderly fashion, but now everything's screwed up. Somebody, somebody at work called in late or called out and said that they're, they can't come in. So they can't help to finish this project. I'm still waiting for that piece to be done. Somebody else was supposed to give me reports on financial things or letting me know where we stand or what the budget was or blah, blah, blah. But somebody let you down there. So a lot of you are dealing with some different things, whether it's a relationship or we were supposed to get together, said they called and said, now they got to work late and we can't go out, blah, blah, blah. So when am I going to see them? Don't worry. It will be taken care of. Things are going to work out just fine. But right now with the Ace of Wands, you're feeling like everything looks like it's up in the air. Nothing is a final decision. Um, nobody is making any sense right now. Um, I can't stand with my OCD, um, with everything unorganized. I need to know what's going on. I need to know what we're going to do next, things of that nature. So the Ace of Wands is pretty much just saying, relax. Take it easy. Be still for a minute. Let everything that's in a disarray, 
let it fall to the ground. As it falls to the ground one by one, you will be able to handle each and every situation. Before you know it, by the end of the day, everything is going to be able to work itself out. For some of you, you may feel disconnected in a situation. You may feel that something is just not quite the way it should be. Or you may feel like somebody's leaving you out of something. Maybe something that's being planned. Or um, maybe somebody's planning to go somewhere. Maybe somebody's having an event or a party and they didn't mention it to you. There may be also something that you feel like you were overlooked for. Maybe it's a promotion. Maybe it's um, an expanded expansion of something. For some of you, this is going to talk about wanting to make changes in your home, um, wanting to try to find some balance. Some of you are into feng shui. Some of you are trying to just um, clean out all of the things that you just no longer use or that are just cluttering up, taking up space, and, and really just making a mess for you. So a lot of you are just wondering what to do next, um, stressing over a particular situation, but there is going to be balance coming. There is going to be something that is quite exciting and quite new for you. Over the weekend, you are going to come up with some great ideas. Some of you are going to be into crafts this weekend. Some of you may be doing craft as far as witchcraft. Some of you may be doing crafts as far as home interior, um, making wreaths for Christmas, um, selling different things for Christmas for people's homes, for their doors and things of that nature. But I do see a lot of people trying to put something together to make extra money on the side. So a lot of you are going craft shopping or going to the craft store or going to the Goodwills or going to different places to get the materials that you need in order to create something. I also see a lot of people getting styrofoam balls and building something that way of a decoration. And I do feel like um, it's also using micro uh, lights, the little small lights as well. So I feel like a lot of you are getting very creative about different things that you can do for the upcoming holiday, getting prepared for it now. So that you can um, make the money, make the profit in order to get you through the holidays that are coming up next. A lot of you are going to be on the telephone a lot over the next couple of days, whether you're Twitter, Facebook, um, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. <clears throat> but I feel like a lot of you are definitely going to spend a lot of time on your phone over the weekend. A lot of you are going to be pretty much stuck in the house. I don't know whether it's due to weather, inclement weather, bad water, bad rain, bad floods. I also see somewhere. I also see there being uh, a lot of threats somehow to either presidential candidates or something to do with the White House, something to do with mm, politics for sure. I do see something coming up that has to do with violence around or associated with decisions made on the U.S. elections. Something is definitely going to be rattled today. Somebody's cage is going to be rattled. I also feel like there may be uh, talk of some type of bomb threats or something of that nature. Um, you may hear this on the news. I also feel like there will be something to do with a president flying in a plane and having issues with that plane. Possibly a very dangerous landing, but I don't feel that anyone will be killed. I don't think so. I feel like there may be injuries and I feel like we may be put on hold for a little bit, but something is coming up where that's concerned. I also feel like there's going to be an opportunity for some of you to take a lesson in something or learn something new. Take advantage of it. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I don't know how to do that. I never saw that. I never did that before. I'd like to try it. I'd like to learn. Whether that's you going, um, water skiing, whether that's you going bungee jumping, whether that's you climbing up a mountain, whether that's you going out on a boat, whether that's you doing, going somewhere, driving somewhere that you just never thought you would. Um, but I definitely feel like there's a lot of things that way. So that's pretty much what I have for the daily today. I hope you enjoyed all of my predictions and my messages, and I hope to hear from you soon. Remember, those of you who did purchase the reading that is on special for 30 minutes, instead of $200, it is $130 US dollars. However, I am overwhelmed, happily overwhelmed, but overwhelmed uh, with so many of you. I am trying to get these numbers to go down. I'm trying to get to each and every one of you. Um, 
because I don't have my secretary, Gail, here right now, she's still with her daughter. Um, not much I can do by myself. So I am, I am coming down the list. So remember, there may have been a lot of people in front of you when you first came on uh, and made the payment through PayPal. Please be patient. I promise you within the next week, I will get everybody taken care of, but it is going to take every single day. And I am willing to work my weekend, except Sunday, but I am willing to work my weekend to get these readings done. Okay. But I do not prefer against my religion to do readings like that on Sunday. Okay. So I will be with you soon. Thank you all for participating. Uh, and I also will hope to get on sometime this evening, uh, to do, um, sticks to get some extra messages in and they will be $50 that will be on later this evening. So if you're wanting to get some sticks with some messages, again, they're spiritual messages. You don't ask any questions. It is $50 through PayPal. Just write the word sticks and I will put you on the list for this evening. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you guys later.